Well, welcome back to the show. Our reporter, Daniel Duty, has... Well, he's been known to sing a bit, he hasn't does. he? He, he, yeah. lo he, loves, um, he loves belting out a tune or two. And he's met up with Australian music legend, John Paul Young, at a community men's shed this morning. Hey, dudes, what's up? Morning, Sarah and Tristan. You are absolutely right. Love is in the air in this men's shed. Good morning, fellas. How you morning. going? Morning. <laughs> you can see the uh, men here are busy working hard. I'm at Toronto Men's Shed, and you can see there's plenty of tools in here, and everything here is in good working order. Good morning there, Bob. How are you going? So you can see over here, they're building some uh, billy carts for the local scout group. Oh, wow. And uh, hey, I know you. Haven't I seen your face before? <laughs> <laughs> here we go. The Australian singing sensation, the legend, John Paul Young. How are you, sir? I'm fine, Daniel. How are you? Very well, thanks. Come over here. Let's get. Oh, it's so great to be here. Now, you are hosting a new podcast. It's called The Shed Wireless. Yep. It's, they're launching their third season. Yep. Uh, what's the podcast all about? Well, it's all about men's sheds and men's health. And uh, basically, because the men's sheds uh, are a tool to combat isolation. And that's what it's all about, getting men involved. And, uh, you know, as you can see, we've got a few of yesterday's heroes here. <laughs> and this is definitely where the action is. Have I got any more hits I can throw in there? I don't know. Any more I love it. Um, look, how, how, did you, how did you get involved in all this? Well, actually through my son, uh, who was working with the ABC a, a few years ago. And uh, Aaron Carney is the ex-ABC announcer, and he was doing the Men's Shed podcast. Uh, but he got too busy, and then he asked me uh, to write a jingle for the Men's Shed, which I did, and that put me in the frame for the Men's Sheds. And when they were looking for somebody to take over the podcast, they asked me, and I said, why not? Sounds like a good idea. And John, last year you wrote a fantastic song for the Men's Shed Association. Yep. Let's let's take a listen. Okay. <laughs> Don't matter if you work with wood or fabricating metal is the thing you understood. Whatever is your game, everyone's the same. Here we can do it all at the Men's Shed. Aww, <laughs> hey. that's cool. We can. <laughs> <laughs> what a cracking song. What was it like recording that? You could, I, I could see oh. that the men were having fun. And you, yeah. you guys were just having a great time. It was, it was. It was great fun. And it's one of those things. I was asked to, to come up with something, and it, it sort of came into my head in about five minutes. So sometimes miracles happen, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And look, with these men's sheds, yeah, you know, during the height of the pandemic, they were forced in a lockdown. But do yeah. you know now with the easing of restrictions, are they all back up and running because there's many men's sheds right across the country? Well, right across the country and indeed right around the world. You know, it's uh, the men's shed is something that started here in Australia and it's gone right around the world. There's some in Ireland, there's some in Britain. I think there's some in the, the United States and some other countries as well, you know, so it's, it's been an absolute success, you know, it's wonderful. And John, how important is it to make aware about what goes on in the men's shed and what they do for the community? How important is it? They are something that's sorely needed, you know. I've even just heard that uh, in quite a few retirement homes, they're actually building men's sheds into the retirement homes, you know, so that... Uh, uh, it's, it's ready accessible right here, right there. Uh, this is uh, obviously here, we're on the, the western side of Lake Macquarie and uh, Toronto is, uh, the Toronto Men's Shed is doing a wonderful job and all these people here, and look at them all, they're all... They're all, they're all smiling, hey. they're, look, they're all in the yeah. background. Hey, they love it, they love it. Oh. You know, and, and like, it's, it really is to combat isol isolation and, and, and these people... They just, they go back to the factory floor. They go back to where they were, you know. It, it, it rekindles all that stuff. And even people who, oh, drop that. Even, <laughs> even people who, um, who have never had a, uh, a workshop background, uh, they find it is their chance now to come in and do that sort of stuff. You know, by doctors, lawyers, people like that who have never done this, this is their chance to come and get involved. It's a fantastic initiative. So where can people listen and, and, and hear the Shed Wireless podcast? Anywhere you like, yeah. as long as it starts with a G. Get onto Google and yeah. just Google it up. 
uh, any platform you can you can think of. Just type in the uh, the uh, the shed wireless, and up up it will come. John, thank you so much for your time. I oh, you know I don't know if you know, but I'm a I'm a bit of a singer. I, I would l- I, I would heard. love to sing a duet with you. Okay. Do you want to name it? Love is in the air. Okay. Love is in the air. Everywhere I look around. <laughs> Love is in the air. Every sight and every sound. Beautiful, beautiful. And I don't know if I've been foolish. I do. <laughs> don't know if I've been wise. But there's something that I must believe in. And it's there when I look in your eyes. Love is in the air. Love is in the air. It was the right key. It was the right key. John, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, fellas. It's wonderful what you're doing here. Back to you guys in the God, studio. Oh, Thanks, John. So you're a great lovely. Sport. Love to you, JPY. All the best. Studio 10, we'll be right back.